Hello everyone. So what I want to talk about now is the unseen threat to our shores. Now, not many people know that this threat is even real or if it's even a thing. But what it's going to do, it's going to make the na uh, conventional navies absolutely obsolete. So the expensive aircraft carriers, all this money we're spending on submarines, maybe not submarines so much, but the uh, conventional navies, you know, the armaments, the weapon systems on them, the, the new threat of warfare evolving around our shores, you know, it's it's evolving and nobody's talking about it. So the threat, the threat itself comes from um, containerized weapon systems. So basically, weapon systems now put into these shipping containers and then they can be on the back of civilian uh, shipping vessels and they can move freely between any ports in any country of the world without any, you know, any restrictions or impediments. Now, I'll come on to the implications of that and some of the legalities afterwards, but what I want to talk about first is how we should take lessons from history and Afghanistan and Iraq and then, you know, replicate them and look at the lessons we learn and put them into a naval setting. So those of you fought or went or was in the, the occupations or the conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan, one of the main problems was your the enemy that people were fighting, they were in plain clothes. So it's very difficult to identify an enemy when they're wearing civilian clothes, when they blend into the population. So one minute you could have some, I don't know, you, you, you could be in a battle with someone, they run off around the corner, throw their weapons down, and then they blend into the, the local population. And then who who is it? Where, where have they gone? You know, you can't find that person. So... Let's take that information now and put that into a naval setting. The amount of shipping containers that are traveling around the world is unbelievable. Um, I'll put a link into the bio in the description to this video of like, um, I can't actually remember the website, it's like shipping tracker or something. And you can actually see all the shipping containers. You can click on them and you know, you can see what it is. The amount that travel to our docks and ports every day is absolutely unbelievable. Now, these are huge, big, heavy ships that you could launch missiles from. Also, there's some companies now, you know, that are quite open about it. This is not secret, secretive weapon system and the technology is mature enough and advanced enough to be really effective. You can now have, you know, all sorts of weapon systems, missile systems autonomously in the back of a shipping container you know, on, on a ship at somebody's port, you can just press a button and those missiles will then go to the pre-designated target. The thing here that nobody's talking about is this, that this is just going to render the conventional navies absolutely obsolete. And the thing, and, and what I'm seeing at the moment is kind of like the American Civil War when the, you know, when the Brits were all in, um, you know, all in rank and file and the Americans were using guerrilla tactics, using, you know, snipers and all sorts of stuff, you know, and the British didn't, you know, they didn't evolve, they didn't um, adapt quick enough. And that's why, you know, that's why the British lost. What I see happening as we, you know, as we move forwards, I see this threat from shipping container weapon systems and, and you know, and the threat that pose just to go increase ridiculous. And when a host nation, when an enemy, enemy nation, sorry, does want to attack our shores, that's where it's going to come from, guys. It's not going to come from these naval ships, you know, that everybody can see, everybody's tracking. It's going to come from these shipping containers. Before a shipping container comes into a dock, it can sail really close up to that, you know, up to that um, country and then it has to hang back. That is when it's in its most dangerous position because it's not yet come into the um, international, into the, um, sorry, into the host country's waters. It's still in international waters, but it's close enough to mount an attack. Now, you wouldn't let um, an enemy nation get their military shipping vessels that close at all, but... It's quite acceptable for shipping vessels to come right off the coast of the UK and just wait there to be called in, to be unloaded, you know, to however the, you know, the checks and balances happen. So that is what we're going to face, guys, okay? That is the unseen threat to British shores, to any shores, really, and it comes from shipping container weapon systems. I'm going to put the links to all these in the uh, description of this video, guys. Tell me what you think. Am I being paranoid or, or is this a real threat? And I can guarantee you that if I'm thinking about it, People who want to do us harm have already thought about it and they've already got plans in action. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to like, follow and subscribe.